We're starting off with the poodle, and of course, with all of our creations, we'll start with our base, which is two 660s, tight end to end, nozzle to nozzle. We're going to set that aside, we won't make that for a moment. I've got another 660, this is going to be the head. I've got a 360, and then a second 360, two pink, one lilac. We're going to be starting with the uh, lilac 360. I'll make the bow first. It's easier to make the bow and then add it as you go the head. So what I'm going to make is make a large fold twist. This is about the length of my hand. It really helps if you hang on to it. When you make the first one, cut the nozzle through to hold it in place. And then make two pitch twists, so make a round bow. Another round bow. position the two pinch twists on opposite sides of the bubble there that you have. So that you have that. And then maybe one more fold twist, the same size as the first one. Twist it into the two pinch twist. Go ahead and trim your it off. And then just twist that in there several times to secure it. You can get a little bit of shape if you like. There's your bow. Now we're going to take our 660, pink. Of course, you can make your food whatever color you like. Now I'm going to make, like I'm going to start with a big fold twist here. It's an upside down J. Turn it over and see. And then where I've got this one, half the length of this on the side here, the long side, I'm going to put a twist. This is going to be his muzzle that I'm going to pull through in a minute. Then you're going to make about a four or five inch bubble. Hang on to that. And then grab your bow, and then that second bubble that we just made, twist the bow into that. Place that right up in there. Just secure the bow in place. Then you're gonna make a small bubble, a little smaller than this first one we just made like that, and then we need one more the size of the first one, like that, just your basic tool head, twist the bottom into it there, so that you've got your three bubbles here and your bowl on top, then we're going to take the long bubble that we started off with and tuck it through the middle of the little head, just pull it on through. Roll up on top. There's your poodle head. Then I'm going to take and on the bottom of this, I'm going to pull off a small bubble. Just like that. And then I'm going to take that bubble and attach it to the body. Excuse me while I pick that back up. There we go. On one of the ends, bring it in and twist it around the tank where it's secured in place. And there's the head of your poodle. Now we're going to take and make our poofy tail. Set the body aside for a moment. Now I've got a 360 here in pink that I've blown up. Left about four or five inches. We don't need all of this. I just wanted to get out to the end. So go out. Leave about a, what is that, about a nine or ten inch bubble. And I'm going to make two small fold twists. Each one is about three fingers and then I'm going to cut the nozzle end off. I want to keep the uninflated tail here. Wrap it around a couple of times and then take the back of your poodle and twist that on the end obviously opposite the head for his tail. Twist it around a time or two to secure it in place. And the reason I put the two fold twists in there is so because I want his tail to stand up and then take and squeeze your air up to the end for some of it so that you get your poofy tail on the back of your poodle. And there is your poodle swim buddy.